It's been two days since Kib and I quit vaping. I myself made a resolution fairly recently that I would never do something that warrants me being called a quitter. So I'm back on the wagon. Kib, on the other hand, was handling nicotine withdrawal surprisingly well. Where's your vape, the little one? I just need to look at it and make sure it's not broken. Sorry, what I meant to say was, Kib was almost dead, and he was hitting the part of withdrawal where all the blame was going on everyone else, not himself. I, I quit because you asked me if I wanted to quit with you. We both smashed our vapes, and now you bought another one, and you're using another one, and nobody's letting me hit their vapes. I couldn't help but feel bad for the little guy. Then James came into the office with a little boy, and that caught my attention instead. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Oh, who's that? Oh, um, this is Tate. So I got, I have to do this community service thing where I like have to do the big, you know, like the big brother program where I, I get assigned a kid and I have to just take care of him. I was confused. Who was the big brother in this scenario? The person James brought in was far larger than him. Either way, I was worried. We have a bully in our office, Jamie. Your name's Tate? Jamie. My name's Tate. I was, a, it was a question. It's Tate. T-A-T-E. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Me too. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm Gooch. I'm good. Gooch. Okay, Tate, that's just a black screen. You gotta look the other way, dude. I don't think he's very smart. Does he? What does he like to do? Maybe we can entertain him. Too long to see if it. Tate. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? Like, uh, do you smoke weed? He didn't respond, but I knew I didn't know the answer, so we moved on. I'm not planning on having this kid around very long, or more than one day. You don't know how long he's gonna be around. I thought you were my big brother now. Not actually. Oh my god, James was right. Tate has no idea what's going on. Look at how different we are. This will never work. Yeah, he has a good physique. Who's talking, Bubblegut? Does this look like Bubblegut to you, fucking idiot? That's hard as a rock. Looking like a snack. What else do you guys say? Like, I don't know, I always try to... Keep up. I'm always upset when approached by Lawrence. He always finds a way to turn a good conversation into one that nobody wants to have. Yeah, I, I was just I curious, know. like, what words that we adults, we grown-ups. You trying to get a camera? You're not on enough? What? Oh, I told you Lawrence would ruin the conversation. Always does. So we showed Tate around the office. This is some studio shit. Um, we got lights and... Is this boring you? Yeah, I don't even want to be here. Tate loved every second of being with us. He was growing on me, like the cyst I got after trying out a penis pump. Some lessons can only be learned through trial and error. Good job, dude. I was actually keeping a nice conversation with him and you go and scare him off like that. I think he's like 16 or something. I don't think he's like When dumb. I was 16, I got lost in a fucking shopping mall coat rack. Should we ask I don't know, how do you interact with kids? Who's like the person here that would be able to do that? And that's when we realized we share the same office with people who wear graphic tees and cargo shorts to work every day. Wow, your whole head blocks both of those people. Jesus. Good, it's huge. My head is huge. I know that you're into younger people, like you're dating Autumn. She's a lot a lot younger than you. I mean, Autumn is very uh, mature. Yeah. I like all people equally, James. Well, as long as those people are much younger. Tate, I'm betting that you're more responsible than both these guys. So what you do is, Tate. Yes. You guys are gonna have a good talk. What I need you to do, upload a video to YouTube. Can you do that? Is he only ever fucking think about YouTube? James was right. He is only ever fucking think about YouTube. But what happened next, we couldn't predict. A storm was coming. A taint storm. Guess what? I have promoted him to CEO. So he's now both of your bosses. And you're both fired. I couldn't believe my ears. Fired again? I always imagined I'd go out in a PR nightmare refusing to apologize for an insensitive joke. But this was a new low. Wait, I'm not fired though, am I? James, you're fired. Oh, this is just like all the plane flights that I've been terrorizing. You missed. Oh my god. What? What is it? I don't know how physically that happened. Please, it hurts now. Yeah, yeah, I got he it. didn't miss. Oh shit. Oh. I ran outside to confront Tate on his way out to the car he somehow had at 16 years old. I wanted to be on his good side. Unfortunately, someone else had the same idea. Mr. T, wait, let me give me an elevator pitch, man. I got a really great idea with the company. Hear me out. Burgers. I've created a burger that looks and tastes just like any other burger. Now, have a bite. Mm -hmm. I know you don't have a number two yet because it hasn't been really talked about, but first mate, I think I can take it. What do you think of the burger? I think you just got first mate. Now let's get the hell out of here. Wow, our new boss is strong. I didn't really mean that. Anyone can lift Kid. He's made entirely of carbon fiber after an accident with ducks. I had to have my way with Tate. I had to make him understand how necessary I was to this operation. I used to run this company for... 
a year. There are many people you need to cut, and I can be that guy for you. Don't kiss up to my boss. You probably don't have one of these. This card gets you in. All right, and, see uh, you guys later. Oh. Kip can come in now. Well, you're gonna need me, you fat little prick. Come join other people's side. No. Whose side do I need to be on then? Fine, open the door. Dumbass. Man, you're ugly. Wow. It feels different now. This whole office, yeah. Hey, James, great news, you're back on. Oh, got... Shit, you guys left me alone for 15 minutes. I was burning all my bridges. No, I'm I'm not a snitch. I never would be. I never could be. It's not in my blood. Except if something benefits me, I will tell on you without a second thought. Uh, there are two people in this office right now. I don't know what they do. You know, we've been talking about this for a Jimmy while. Jamie and BB. They say the producers? Do we have your permission to fire Jamie and Mimi? Granted, was it that hard? It was. Hey, can we fire Jamie and Mimi? No, they're okay. Can we fire Taint? No, we can't fire Taint. He's more responsible than you, than you, and than you. Name one thing that he's done. He kissed me. Ty, he, he gave me $10. That's child I don't think that's what happened. He's 16, dude. Oh, we're we're instantly back in charge because uh, we've got that over his fucking. Did Bruce's job? Oh my god, you've been here the whole time. Yeah. You want a few bucks? Please, come on, boys. Come on, this way, come on. Here you go, boys. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I have a lot of money to buy my own. Go get the V bucks. Got the V bucks. No, I have a thousand five hundred. I plenty of money, man. The code's been scratched off. He fucking swindled us. Oh no, man. This place doesn't have nearly enough decoration. Like if we had. Gargoyles or something? That'd be dope. You just said gargoyles? Yeah, dude. I hate gargoyles. Get the fuck out! Just leave, it's walking. It's, it's easy to do. Heel toe. Don't make me come back. You won't! Do you need help on? God damn. Uh, quit lollygagging, boys! Made of ships. Here, I'll help you. It's not an appropriate tool for helping James, it's a scrubber, Steve. Come on in. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tickle your balls unless no, you get on the don't. boat. Dude, that's so dirty, I bet. It's separating, it's separating. I can't separating. help you. I can't help you. I can't help 